Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Obese to Fit with Parkinson's. My name is Ryan Leniger, and in today's video, I'm going to cover the April 2023 recap. Had a wonderful month, uh, just grateful for all the uh, prayers, support, and love, and I just wanted to thank you all for, for that. And um, a few things I wanted to cover in today's video, I have a few notes here, but um, I wanted to talk about prayer and how it's incorporated into my routine. Um, a goal, a milestone that I hit this uh, month that I had set back in, I had, I think, put it on my February um, recap video. And then uh, a new program I'm uh, trying out. I want to cover calories and my weight uh, fluctuation. And then the gains and losses of the month uh, in terms of physical uh, routine in the gym. I want to post a few pictures also of a uh, workout that I had done with the new program I ins, uh, I'm trying out. So uh, the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is the prayer. Uh, so every morning I do 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups, and I've discussed this in several of my other videos. But before I start my push-ups and sit-ups, uh, I start out with the Lord's Prayer, and then I do 25 push-ups and then I'll say another prayer uh, and it's ranges at my pastor I'll pray for my pastor I pray for my friends different ones I know that are going through some difficult stages or chapters in their life um, there's just so many people that are needing our prayers for them and I know it it works because the folks that have prayed and thought about me through the course of these past 10 years when I first got sick um, with the Guillain-Barre and then also with the diagnosis of Parkinson's. Without you guys, I, I mean, I don't know where I'd be right now. So I don't want to get off topic too much, but I wanted to share this with you. I've shared it with some family and friends. It's Psalm 18.6, and I'm reading it here. So uh, just so you know, Psalm 18.6. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. To my God, I cried for help. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. So one thing my pastor talks about is, prayer closets. Now that's not an actual closet. It's somewhere quiet that you can pray. And I actually have a, a mat that I use. So when I'm doing my push-ups and sit-ups, I have my mat there on the ground and I'm praying there. Uh, sometimes my kids are in the room, sometimes they're not. It, sometimes it's just me, but it's real quiet. I can concentrate and focus on what I want to say, talk to God about what's on my heart, who I'm thinking about. So that's pretty important for me. So I do the uh, Lord's Prayer, 25 push-ups, prayer, 25 push-ups, prayer, 25 push-ups, prayer, 25 push-ups. And it's, it's something that uh, I look forward to every day. And hopefully, uh, if there's something you're trying to incorporate into your life, I'd just wish you the best that you can uh, make it habit and um, stay consistent with it. Uh, it's just the one thing on this channel is I want to be consistent with the, the uh, things that I talk about, um, consistent with my routine that I talk about, uh, consistent with my calories that I talk about, consistent with my weight fluctuations that I talk about. So. There's a, there's a wide variety or wide range of different things. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Psalm 18.6. 
So the next thing I wanted to talk about was something I'm real excited about is one of my early 2023 goals was to reach a certain target for calories per minute on the elliptical. And I had set that to 20 calories per minute. And I videoed it. I don't know if I'll post it or not, but I record it as I went from four minutes and 59 seconds to five minutes. And right before that, I had hit 100 calories burned. So I hit my, I've done it only once. So, um, but I was excited. It was a goal that I hit. It was 20 calories per minute. Um, it was pretty tough for me to do, but um, it took a long time to get there. It wasn't overnight. And again, that's just uh, one of the things on this channel that I want to talk about is small goals and to reach a bigger goal. And that was a big goal for me. So now I want to try to get that consistently. So I've been pretty good about 16 to 17 calories per minute uh, consistently on the elliptical and I do that for five minutes. So it's a five minute interval where I try to get to X amount of calories. So some days it might be 75 calories and uh, that day I wanted to try to get 100 calories in five minutes and I was, it, it was pretty exciting. That was a goal I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get, but we got it. So. Again, thank you guys for everything. Without you guys, this isn't possible. Uh, just grateful for that. Uh, the next thing I'll show you is the gains and losses for the month. So just bear with me one moment and I'll get that set up. All right, guys. So here is the 2023 gains and losses for April. Uh, I am still using the Strong app which I absolutely love. Uh, it really keeps track of my exercises and the weight I'm using, keeps track of the previous session also. But uh, I just have a list of my exercises here that I've been doing. And then the week one, week two, week three, and week four, you see, that it was explained in a prior video as to why I use those numbers. And then, um, Everything is empty. I hit all the numbers like the 120, the 250, the 250. I hit all these this month. But the reason I left it empty is because I didn't do week four. And that is when I started this new training program. So I was doing two sets of each uh, exercise at the time. And last week, the 26th, I believe it was, of April, I changed over to this new program where I'm still doing the same exercises, but I lowered the weight to 60 to 70% of that particular exercise, and uh, I'm doing it to failure. So basically, I'm lifting until I cannot lift that weight anymore at that weight. So another thing, uh, I had the 151 days in a row for the sit-ups and push-ups. Calories started at 2,400, went to 2,600, and I bumped it back down. I did a couple 18-hour fasts to help kind of with some of the excess fat that I have around my waist. Now, a couple of those a month I'm going to try. Over time, I think it's going to really help. Uh, my weight got to 176.4. Uh, YouTube subscriber count went to 44, so that's plus 3, and I really appreciate everyone's uh, uh, support. And then also, um, these are the new exercises that I incorporated into my routine. The cable bicep curl, the cable tricep extension, one-arm cable lat pull, dumbbell bicep curl, dumbbell tricep extension, lat raise... Uh, two arm cable bicep curls, rear delt fly, cable chest fly. And so I'll probably go through a routine where I'm demonstrating these. So it kind of makes a little bit more sense. They are online as well if you want to see what they are. But these are just different exercises to help me. 
these are just different and new exercises to help me get a new kind of movement for some of my muscles, my muscle groups I may not use too often. So it's just an opportunity to capitalize on that. So the exercise routine, I've done it three times now, and every time it's been right around 45 minutes. And uh, so far, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, I think it's going to be beneficial. I kind of had topped out on the weights uh, that I was doing two sets each of. So I think this is a good opportunity to bring it back down the weight and I'm, ho I'm hoping it prevents injury. Um, so I'll start at the lower 60 to 70% weight that I was using prior and then um, just do the sets or the exercises until I can't lift that weight anymore. Then I take a break in between, it's about a minute rest in between each exercise and then I go into the next exercise. So that's what I'm doing, I'm trying it, it's new for me. I would love to share the results with you. I'm going to do it in all month of uh, in the whole month of May, so we'll see how that goes. Um, the next thing, just real quick, I'm going to talk about are the calories, the weight fluctuation, and I'll end it with uh, maybe a few picks from that exercise session where I did the uh, train to the max. Uh, I'm sorry, trained to failure. Um, from my max weights that I had done, I do 60 to 70% of that max weight. So um, just give me one moment and I'll get the calories set up. All right, so the April 2023 caloric intake, I'll just be brief with this. I did have two days that were outliers. So that was on the first. I have the green arrows above it on the first. And then on the 23rd, I was over 3,000 calories those days. I'm not going to dwell on that. It is what it is. And um, so I just get it back in line. And for the month, uh, I ended up averaging just at 2,400 calories per day. So it's an average over everything. I had three 18-hour uh, fasts, and that was on 2nd, 10th, and the 16th. And then um, that 26th, uh, I just wasn't hungry that day, so I didn't eat a lot. The things I did eat uh, were healthy. It just, I wasn't real hungry that day. But those were the three days that I fasted was the 2nd, 10th, and 16th. The last thing I wanted to talk about were the weight fluctuations so started at 183.4 for the month and finished my lightest that i've been since high school so that's been 20 i can't even count that high but anyway it's been a long time 1996 till 2023 so 176.4 so i'm very excited about that i didn't lose it quick uh i had dropped some weight in march quickly but um in April, I scaled it, uh, I'd say it came down consistently, uh, it looks like, through the month. So I just took a few snapshots throughout the month just to see where I was at, and I was very pleased. So um, good things going forward into May. Lastly, I just want to say thank you to everybody for your support again and your prayers. Um, I'll wrap it up here. I got a few videos coming out. I'm going to kind of venture into maybe a, just a little bit of woodworking. I saw some, they're called chick nick tables. So it's, it's little tables for chickens. It's chicken picnic tables. And I saw it online. I just thought it was kind of neat. Uh, might be able to use it for a, maybe a flower planter or something along those lines. But um, anyway, uh, maybe a little bit of woodworking coming up in the future. During the summer, it's going to be a little more difficult for me to video with the kids home. I'll try to get out at least one per week if I can. Uh, maybe once every two weeks. So I have a lot that I haven't put out yet that I'll probably try to do throughout the summer. Um, just to post for you guys and 
uh, deliver hopefully a product. Some of these videos I did back in January or February. I have my older glasses on in some of these videos. Uh, I have new ones that are wire rim. The other ones were black, uh, thick black frames. But um, so you can, I kind of can tell the ones that I did before February. Uh, that's when I have my black rim glasses until now I have my wire rim glasses. So anyway, that's not a big deal. But um, yeah, I got a few few um, uh, videos, um, just some pressure washing videos that I did. Um, some meal, uh, some challenges that I've had through this whole process. Not since the, you not since this channel, but since everything happened 10 years right at 10 years ago so I did celebrate an anniversary with my wife and also driving so uh that sounded weird but yeah uh, uh I've been with my wife for uh married since 2010 and uh we've been together uh, since gosh 2005 so, um, yeah, so we celebrated an anniversary, uh, and then I celebrated a, another anniversary with driving, and uh, when I started driving, I started going to the gym, so that was another anniversary I just thought about, was going, uh, it's been a year since I went to the gym, and I just tried to stay as consistent as pos possible. Um, so, I'll, I'll quit uh, rambling. I'll, I'll just post, throw up a few pictures here, um, from my exercise that I did that day, uh, when I started that new program with the, uh, train to failure or exercise to failure, I'll say, and, um, I will let you go. Thanks again, everybody for watching, and I will talk to you soon.